So on my trip to Hawaii, I went to the uh, Kauai Islands and nothing in me wanted to leave. It was incredible being near the volcanoes. I um, identify very deeply with the earth element and that is expressed through uh, fire. And there is an alchemic process that my body went through this past year. So going to the Hawaii Islands meant a lot to me viscerally. <laughs> and anyways, um, my purpose there was spiritual and private and my own journey and blah, 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 blah. And I try and leave and I miss the flight. And um, we try again, and there's a fueling problem, and everybody missed the flight. And we're standing there, and up until 3.03 .03 in the morning at the airport, waiting, the entire plane of people all just stranded. And I'm thinking how much I didn't want to leave the island. And um, I met this beautiful teacher. And she's going from second grade to third grade. And here it is at 303. And we're just chatting. And she's saying this melody to my heart. And I was showing her um, some massage tricks. And she was sharing her wonderfulness with me. And um, she had said something that my guides have been screaming at me. And um, she's like, you need to speak to a broader audience. And it made me chuckle because my favorite thing to do is meditate and be alone. <laughs> it's nothing personal. It's just um, who I um, resonate the most with is sound and song. And this has been a private journey for me. And anyways, it's been, I've been learning to use numbers and sacred geometry and identify everything with um, my spiritual understanding of my reality and braiding it all together in this beautiful unit of unity where, where everything I see and sense comes from vibration and sound and song. It's, I don't know, it's, it's a unique um, awareness of my higher senses. Everything about this new year, the 2-2, is a building of bringing us together. And so when I'm speaking to this teacher and she goes, I'm from, I went from two to three, I'm looking at her and I'm looking at the sacred geometry cascading around us. And I'm thanking her for being a teacher, for, for speaking to children. And, you know, I, I had chuckled. I said, it's so much easier to build up a child than tear down an adult. When we're children, we, we believe with this open wonder and this innocence, this new energy, this creative power, this creative yin energy that um, we're all starting to tap into this awareness of what I do matters, what I say, what I think, what I feel, this connection. And there's the twos. So she's going into these threes and threes are my favorite number. They're exciting, they're jubilant, they're, they're Christ consciousness, they're just, they're fun. Threes are fun. And threes are people that I identify with quick and easy. Threes is um, the single mom with two kids. It's that juggle. It's that I've got this because everything matters. It's that balance. It's that uh, <sighs> there's certain people and when they're around, they sing like threes to me and I just ease into that company. It's like our lives paths have crossed so often. There's a harmony in the air, a balance of it of when yin meets yang and that space in between, that's threes. It's natural to our state because we're all in creative power and that's threes. So it's 303 and she's telling me she's moving to third grade and I'm seeing the minds of her children light up around her and I'm looking at her going, you're singing a melody to my heart that is just breathtaking. And I was so happy to have met her. 
And it was just brief moments that mattered and trickled through everything I am. And so I wanted to create a song for this lady and send it to her. Um, and anyways, this is for you. And I'm sharing it with everybody because we all walk through our world and start sensing our reality at the levels of awareness that we're ready for. And um, this is to help bridge that. So. Kuya so this is for you i am so glad that our plane got delayed and we had a layover and that um that i got to experience a moment of chaos that led me to meet you and to meditate longer on the hawaii islands and to I spent all night meditating. I felt sorry for everybody else. They were so uncomfortable. And I was like kind of singing in my own joy. My daughter was 19 and I meditated watching her turning 19 um, and thought about the first moment with her when I was so excited to have her that I just stared at her all night long. <laughs> Meditation has been uh, my focus, has always been um, my gift. Although I've never really thought about it as such. It's something that's just me that I never question. But I had connected deeply to the moment that I gave birth to my eldest daughter, to my first child that was physically mine, and her 19th birthday in Hawaii. <laughs> And um, everything was beautiful. And thank you for teaching me um, and for being a teacher and for teaching our children and for sharing who you are. Um, I'm happy to have met you. <laughs> 